on the apron i think it looks fantastic it does look nice it looks really big and the, the color contrast is excellent so here's what i'm going to do next the side of the plywood is just a bad finish and there's really no way to fix it we're just going to cover it up we cut off uh, strips of the redwood off of the apron and we're just going to glue it up to the side and fasten it with the brads we put some screws in here because this part will be hanging over the edge of the apron. <clears throat> we didn't want the chance of any of these flies to start coming loose. So three inch screws that go all the way through and into this solid wood band that we have. It's on both sides. Solid wood band over here too. We got the screws going all the way through. Pretty much gonna guarantee that uh, any fun little five-year-olds that are bouncing around on the table aren't gonna crack off the edge. <laughs> I'll hold this side. You want it even? Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, it's time to make the legs. Today <laughs> is leg day. Legs! <laughs> we got legs! I wasn't sure what we were going to do with the legs, but one of my real estate clients called me, remember real estate, and said, Pete, I'm tearing down a wall for my house and I got some two by fours I think you're going to like, because anyone who knows me knows I'm always interested in old wood. His house was built in the 1930s and those types of houses have these great old two by fours. What's so cool about these is that back in those days, a 2x4 was actually 2 inches. Here's a modern day 2x4, which is actually an inch and a half. Here's the old 2x4s that are actually 2 inches. And a little thicker the new 2x4s are 3 and a half. The old 2x4s are just a little bit bigger than that, sometimes 3 and 3 quarter. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to pull out all these nails and I'm going to get the, these boards cleaned up and then I'm going to cut them into 31 inch lengths and I'm going to glue them together. So each leg will be two pieces of this glued together. And it's going to be simple and it's going to look great. It's going to give us nice legs for this table. This table that we started back in, when did we start building this? Uh, 1967. president? <laughs> <laughs> I got all my legs cut to length. I just milled them up lightly, took a planer to one side just to smooth them up a little bit so they're clean. Look how pretty that looks. That's some great looking wood. What I'm going to do now is just put the glue on the face here, glue them together, clamp them up, and then, one, and then once that's in place, I can do some fine finishing here, get them nice and smooth and looking like real legs. That's the next step, kids! Gluing up the legs! We're gluing up the legs. We're gluing up the legs. Okay, the glue has dried on the legs and they feel pretty strong, so now we need to finish these. And the first thing I'm going to do is just run over them a couple times with the planer. These don't have to be super smooth since we're not eating off of them. So I'm just going to plane them a little bit just to get the real roughness off of it, give it a little bit of sanding, and then a little bit of shape on the legs. And that's it, they'll be ready to go. Now we're working on uh, the last uh, last couple of steps to finish up these legs. As uh, they've been sanded, the edges have been rounded off, now what I need to do is just trim each end of the leg so that they're all the same length and that they're flat. And then once I've got the, once I have that done, what I'm going to do is put a little chamfer on the bottom of this. And a chamfer is just the basically just rounding the edge and that way get a close-up on this imagine the leg is on the floor down here imagine the leg was on the floor if this leg was to move around these edges could rip out so by putting a little chamfer which means just rounding this 
then you won't have that problem. How's that sound, kids? It sounds like a plan. And yes, I do have the blue t-shirt on. <laughs> I've looked in his closet. He's got 700 blue t-shirts. Now the idea is just to make one end flat and then we'll use that to measure from so that all the legs will be the same size when we're done. Okay, see that? There it is. A nice flat bottom there. Now that I have flattened the edge of each leg and marked it with a B for bottom, that's going to be our bottom, now I want to get each leg the same size. Okay? And I don't want to measure each leg and try to cut it that way. So what I've done is set up this leg in the radial arm saw here, and I've got this stop clamp down here. Okay, So that means as I put each leg in here, now give me the wide shot, when I put each leg in here, it, no matter how long the leg is, it'll be the same size once it's cut. You got that? You got the stop there. So I'll cut that, then I'll feed in the next one, put that up against the stop, and I'll cut that one, and I'll do the same with all four legs, and then when I'm done, I'll have four legs that are the same size. How's that? Now that all the legs are cut the exact same size, I need to put the Champ chamfer on, on the, the bottom. bottom. It doesn't have to be That's very nice. real big. See that profile? Yeah. Got either. just a little angle there. Yeah. So we'll do that. And, and you again. You yourself a line to go around so those lines yeah. line up. Yeah. Because they're not crooked. They're, they're kind of crooked. Now. So now, as you see, if this was the floor and that was sitting there, it's not going to rip out. Yeah. Very so we'll draw a line to match this. It's actually a little uneven. Right, we'll straighten that up. And uh, we'll straighten that up. Then we'll draw a line so that they're all even, so that uh, Bruce's OCD is taken care of. And then we'll have uh, then we'll have some legs ready to mount. Okay, but you have to tap the machine three times before you turn it on. <laughs> Don't forget that. You stepped on the crack! Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! I lost my cameraman. Can you feel the excitement? It's time to attach the legs to the apron. And there are a lot of different ways you can do this, and here's how I'm going to do it. By use of a carriage bolt. This is a six inch carriage bolt. And I've got the leg clamped to the apron. It's obviously turned upside down. And I'm going to drill two holes on two sides of the leg and put a carriage bolt through. And like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And the reason I'm using the carriage bolt is this. Uh, it's pretty simple to do, it'll be very sturdy, and I also like the look of metal against wood. It's got a nice, clean, industrial look, and it's going to be very strong, and it's going to look fantastic. So as soon as I get all four legs attached, I'm going to turn it over so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll get started putting the finish on the top so we can eat off this thing. Are you as excited as I am? I think you are. Let's get going.